So for this section, before we get into actually building the project, the last part of setup is getting a couple of Unity packages downloaded inside of the Unity editor that we're going to use for the game. So the import system is just the newer way of getting controls to work from your player. So when you press a key or you move your joystick, depending on what kind of input device you have, the import system was what takes care of all of that. And then the cinema machine is great for doing follow cameras, uh, creating camera shake effects on a player getting hit or something. So both of these are super useful packages for editing projects in Unity. And then the last thing we're going to do is turning off reloading the domain when we hit play which one we're editing will allow going into play mode to be much, much faster and just make for a speedier creation of the game. Okay, so first off, getting the packages, if we go up to Windows, Package Manager. At the top left, instead of In Project, we want to switch to Unity Registry. Then on the right here, type in Cinema Machine. So you can just put C-I-N-E and it should pop up here. Click on the Install button. And then on the search bar, Type in input, which should pop up the input system currently on version 1.4.3. So let's install that as well. And for the input system, this completely replaces the basic Unity input. So it's going to have to restart the editor in order to update the system to use the new stuff. So let's just go ahead and hit yes here. And Unity is going to reboot. Okay, and back in the project, you can click on a console next to project. Just make sure there's no errors still. And uh, to verify that both of the new packages are in there, we can change in the package manager to end project and make sure the input system is here with the check mark and cinema machine also here. And that should be good to go. So once again, as I mentioned, we can turn off reloading the domain to make going into play mode faster. So let me hit play here and you'll see that it takes a second. Uh, let's go back out and in one more time. Yeah, you'll see that each time it has to reload the domain. So it takes a second for uh, the Unity project to actually go into gameplay mode. So if you want to make that faster just for editing, then what I like to do is go to Edit Project Settings, I believe. Go to Editor. Uh, scroll down towards the bottom here. And then there's Interplay Mode Settings. So I'm going to Interplay Mode Options. Check Reload the Scene. But I'm going to uncheck Reloading the Domain. When we have reload domain turned off, then that means that every time we hit play, it's not going to completely reinitialize the game. And that can be a performance saver. But as you can see, having those turned on, reload domain and reload scene, uh, would make it as close as possible to when you have an actual build of your game. But I haven't really noticed much of a need to actually have these on while editing. So having reload domain turned off can actually just make it much, much faster to enter into play mode. So Back in here, if we hit play now, you'll see that it's almost instant. You don't have to wait for that little loading screen. If in the future you ever notice a need to have them on, go ahead, turn them on. But we shouldn't need it for this project. 